If two snowflakes fall on your skin, you won't even feel them. If instead of individual snowflakes, hot ash from a fire accidentally falls on you, a small hole will appear on your clothes and maybe you'll feel a slight scratch. If you accidentally spill hot tea on yourself, you'll experience burning pain and get burned. But what will happen if a couple of drops of lava, which is hundreds of times hotter than boiled water, fall on you? Let's imagine that you're now near a volcano that is about to erupt, and Pompeii's example should suggest that it will be very hot soon. You'll have common sense and legs to help make sure you get away from the place of your future disaster. Don't commit any rash acts, as a volcano can kill you immediately. Even with no portent of trouble, the mountain of fire still remains damn dangerous because it can reach you in many ways. So if you're at a safe distance, it's better to get further away. Otherwise, your body will become an interesting mix for the police, such as, for example, in 2000 near the Hawaiian volcano Kilauea, where they found two dead people whose skin and lungs were eroded by hydrochloric acid. Would you associate that with a volcano? The solution was revealed only at the next eruption, when a slowly flowing lava reached the coast, where it reacted with sea salt and hydrogen, creating a cloud of hydrochloric acid. Add to this a strong wind and all onlookers looking at the eruption, in the literal sense of the word, found the experience breathtaking, meaning they stopped breathing. But even in the case of the volcano being calm, you should worry. If only two drops of lava fall on your skin, they will immediately stick to your skin, burning it. Don't even try to brush them away. You'll only make it worse, although it depends on the size of the droplets. If they're small, then you'll only have small scars, as if from an ordinary burn. But if you found yourself under a hail of lava, the red-hot liquid would burn your body to the bone, and your cry might be heard even on another continent. However, you can touch lava for a moment without losing your hand. Remember how water gets on a hot frying pan, but instead of evaporating, turns into a small ball. This phenomenon is called the Leidenfrost effect. When in contact with lava, an elastic layer of steam is created that prevents water from evaporating and the skin gets a monstrous burn. Someone please tell Aquaman about this. But most likely, this life hack won't help. As there's no smoke without fire, so the lava will not erupt by itself. If the volcano exploded suddenly, you'd never outrun it. This beautiful cloud, quickly descending the slope, is called a pyroclastic flow, consisting of steam, ash, and lava particles heated to an incredible temperature, up to 1472 degrees Fahrenheit, or 800 Celsius, comparable to the heat of an airplane jet engine. As soon as you find yourself inside it, the water in the body and the blood would quickly begin to boil. Fluids would create enormous pressure inside the skull, causing the head to expand like a balloon. No, this is not the script of some horrible horror film but the harsh reality. It was recently established that in 79 AD, after the eruption of Vesuvius, many people literally lost their heads just so. Of course, you could hide in the basement, avoiding the fate of being boiled alive, but in this case, stock up on gas masks. If the awakened volcano is on the seabed, it saturates the water with a huge amount of CO2. A layer of carbon dioxide will suddenly pop up and since the substance has a low temperature, it will be low on the ground, depriving all life of air. You should quickly learn to fly or run to the nearest hill. Although, as you understood, standing on the top is also dangerous. Let's return to the beginning where you're near a volcano and feel tremors. Then there are two options. An eruption will occur and lava tentacles hover over you, or the edge of the crater will collapse and drag you down into the hot lake of magma. In the meantime, if you're thinking which would be the worst outcome, I will tell you an interesting fact. The molten rock has a greater density and viscosity, 
which makes it immune to external influence. Simply put, if Frodo had thrown the Ring of Absolute Power into the mouth of the volcano, it would not disappear in fiery waves, but would remain on the surface. So, while you are flying upside down, there will be time to think about the easiest death option. Because of its high density, the magma is very solid, so if you fall from a great height, you will break your neck or break your head. If you plunge into the boiling lava with your head, you'll get monstrous burns, and if your heart doesn't stop from the painful shock, your internal organs will simply weld together. But even if you don't drown, there's still no chance of survival. For example, the temperature of carbonate lava in the old Denho Lengai volcano reaches 1022 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 550 Celsius. Silicon Mountains in the Pacific Ring of Fire are heated to 1,562 degrees Fahrenheit, or 850 degrees Celsius. And if hell exists, then it's probably located in shield volcanoes with gentle slopes, because they create whole lava lakes with temperatures of up to 2,282 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1,250 Celsius. This is enough to burn in flight. Of course, you can cling to any ledge on the wall of the vent. But don't try to call for help. The hot air and a mixture of gases will burn your lungs almost instantly. The inside of the volcano is almost a closed space, so the temperature is the same both at the bottom and at the edge of the crater. Not the most ideal place for lovers to relax. If you think that such energy is wasted, you can build an incinerator on the volcano. The hot lava is ideal for solving the problem of pollution on our planet. In 2002, renowned volcanologist Richard Roscoe dropped from the top of Ertaale volcano in Ethiopia a 65-pound dumpster filled with food debris. Having flown 260 feet or 79 meters, the iron box easily pierced the frozen crust of lava and caused a spectacular fountain, which is explained by the release of steam when burning organic materials. Perhaps no one has ever thrown away the garbage so effectively. Therefore, if you decide to jump from a springboard, do a triple flip and dive, it will be the most fiery adventure in your life. Then you, of course, will die. But first give others an unforgettable sight. After such a truly unique swim, only a handful of ashes will remain from you if the temperature of the lava was above 1832 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1000 Celsius. But if you are lucky to fall into a slightly colder volcano, your body will turn into a creepy statue because a layer of phosphoric acid lime will be formed on your bones, which won't allow them to burn completely. On the other hand, magma has almost no flow, so in theory, you can walk on it. But before a romantic walk near the mouth of a volcano, wear a protective suit. Sounds incredible, but it can save your life. When the volcano is in sleep mode, a frozen crust forms on its surface, it will feel like a sticky hot resin. So when you fall into the vent from a small height, you'll stick to this crust, suffering severe burns, necrosis, and charring of tissues. In this case, the best way out is to pierce the crust so that the lava swallows you up and gives you instant death. But if you prudently put on a protective suit, it will allow you to gently climb and crawl to the slope. At the worst, don't make sudden movements and call for help, hoping that the crust will sustain your weight. But in the case of a successful rescue, you'll definitely get into the news and be able to tell everyone an amazing story. Fortunately, testing the body under lava is something the average person just doesn't have to worry about in everyday life. However, there are many other dangerous substances that we meet daily. Two drops of what substance would you like to see on the human body in a future release? Mercury, perhaps? Radioactive uranium. A liquid nitrogen. Write your suggestions in the comments. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. 
click on the bell and be the first to know about new videos. And stay with us, because the most interesting is yet to come.